Hello everyone, that manga kid here to do my April 2018 pickups video. Um, I'm just going to get right into it and start off with the stuff that I have uh, continued collecting. Um, so I got the last four volumes of Special A that I needed. This is a really good shoujo. I can't wait to reread it. Um, so I needed volume three, volume four, volume 14. And volume 15. Love this cover. So now I have all of Special A, and I will definitely be rereading this soon and then making a video about it at some point. Um, next, Flying Witch Volume 5. Really, really pretty cover as usual. Um, just a really cute slice of life kind of fantasy um, small town story. It's really cute, funny, and and art is adorable. Um, volume 5 of Waiting for Spring, a uh, pretty generic uh, shoujo series put out by Kodansha, but I really love the characters, the story's fun, and the art is gorgeous. Um, so that one's always good to pick up. Finally, The End of Imperfect Girl. This is Volume 3. This is a vertical series. I will definitely be making a video on this soon. I got this yesterday and read it yesterday. Um, and yeah. Tokyo Ghoul Re, Volume 4. Um, just continuing to pick this up, and it's a decent price. Um, yeah, these volumes are pretty thick, and uh, the covers are great as always. Haven't read that volume yet. And Volume 3 of the Omnibuses of Sweet Blue Flowers. This is a Yuri, not necessarily Yuri. This is, this is a story about girls who are in love with other girls. Um, I don't want to call it a Yuri because it's not uh, meant to be a fan service thing. It's not meant to be what Yuri is meant to be. Um, it just happens to be an LGBT story. Um, love Takako Shimura. Um, yeah, can't wait to read this. I'm waiting till I get the final volume, uh, which is the Omnibus Volume 4, uh, to start reading it. Um, I have watched the anime in the past, though, and really enjoyed it, so I know it's going to be something I'll love. Uh, Children of the Whales Volume 2. I picked up Volume 3 last month. This one just took a little longer to ship, um, which is why it's coming now. Um, haven't read that volume yet. Same thing. This is What a Wonderful World Volume 1. Um, it just took longer to ship than Volume 2, so we saw Volume 2 last month. Now I have the first one. Um, I did make a video about this. I don't know if it's out yet. Um, I schedule my, my review videos, so if it's not already out, it will be out soon. I did read this, enjoyed it, and made a video about it. And then another, the last like continuation of things uh, is Sunny. These are nice hardcovers, uh, Sunny volumes uh, 2 and 3. And I haven't started Sunny yet. I have to be in the mood for Taiyo Matsumoto, um, but can't wait to read this when I am in the mood to read it, and we'll definitely make a video about it once I do read it. So, the rest is all new stuff to me. Um, I'll start off with Maid Sama, which uh, these are two-in-one omnibuses. There are 18 volumes in total, so there are nine omnibuses. Um, and yeah, I did make a video about this. I had read this in the past, and I reread it when I bought it. Um, so, this is my favorite cover there. Um, yeah, so if you want to know anything about Maid Sama, my thoughts on Maid Sama, uh, definitely go check out the video that I made. Um, yeah, pretty great shoujo series, kind of underrated, I don't hear a lot of people talk about it, um, but it is one of my, one of my favorites, for sure. And volume 9, with all the characters on the cover, in little chibi form. There you go. Another new... Shoujo series that I picked up. This one's completely new to me. I had not read any of this. I got the three-in-one om omnibuses of Hanakimi. Um, I've read the first omnibus, and I am about a little over halfway through the second omnibus. Um, this is about a girl. She goes to an all-boys school to follow her idol, this, this high jumper. Um, and so she has to pretend to be a boy, and obviously she falls in love, and everybody thinks she's a boy. There's, it's comedy, romance. 
it's all right so far. Um, I do like the characters. I like the story. I think I'm a bit shoujo out at the moment because uh, I've been reading a lot of shoujo recently. So maybe I need to just not read this right now. Um, and maybe I'll enjoy it more when I'm really in the mood for it. Um, once I do end up finishing it, I will definitely make a video, but I think it, that'll be a long time from now because this is in total 23 plus an extra volume. Um, so 24 volumes in total. Uh, that's a lot of content, and I don't think I'm in a shoujo mood right now, um, or at least a shoujo mood of something I haven't read before. Um, yeah, because I've read a few different shoujo series recently back to back, so I think I need to break on that one to, to fully appreciate it. Um, next, something I'm so excited for. Uh, Laura talks about this, this manga hoarder, um, has talked about this series many, many times. Uh, this is King Yo Yu's Books. I wanted to wait until I could get a good deal on it, and with the Viz sale that Chapters had, um, I got these for like $9 each, which is awesome. Um, so King Yo Used Books is this like used manga bookstore, and they're, each chapter is like a short story about a different person experiencing this bookstore in, in some kind of way. Um, I've only read, I believe, one of the chapters so far. I already love it. It is really, really captivating so far and I, I've wanted to get it ever since uh, Laura first mentioned it. Um, I just it kept falling on the back burner because I didn't want to pay that much for it. Um, so thankfully I got these on sale. Uh, only as far as I know only four volumes are out in English. Um, I believe in Japan it ran for a while but only four are here. Um, so I got all four of them so technically I have it complete. Um, because that is all that is out in English. Super stoked about that. Next, I picked up uh, volume one of My Boy. This is a new vertical series, kind of controversial. I did make a first impressions video on this, so go check that out if you're interested in that. Um, all My Darling Daughters by Fumi Yoshinaga. This is short stories that are kind of interconnected. I started reading this yesterday, actually. I'm about halfway through, um, so really enjoying that so far. And something I'm so excited for, I picked up the Omnibus Volume 1 of Moteki. Uh, this is by uh, Mitsuro Kubo. Um, also another series coming out by her is uh, Again. But it's a Kodansha release, which I haven't picked up yet, but definitely, definitely will sometime soon. Um, Moteki, uh, I believe it's about a 29, almost 30-year-old man who has had no luck in love, and now all of a sudden tons of women want to be with him as far as I understand. Um, this is a two and a half volume omnibus. Um, there will only be two of these. The series itself is five volumes long, so they just split it right down the middle. Each of these omnibuses are two and a half volumes in length, um, which I love so that you don't get an awkward um, like other volume, like two omnibuses and a single. Um, they just split it right down the middle. So yeah, there's some nice color pages. Um, in this and I haven't started it yet but I absolutely will soon. Uh, the art is quite interesting and I'm super stoked for it because this sounds like it's going to be right up my alley on the type of stories I like to read. So that is everything I picked up uh, for the month of April. Hopefully um, I think I have quite a few things coming in May as well. I know I got quite a few pre-orders coming um, and then hopefully some other of the orders I've made will arrive in, in May. Um, but yeah, everything I got in April, if you have any questions or have read any of these series, want to chat about them in the comments, definitely let me know. Uh, for sure, if you've read Hanakimi before, uh, please let me know what you thought of it, because um, I'm having a hard time kind of getting into it. So yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.